Hello everyone and welcome back to introduction to number theory. Uh, in the previous video we learned about Blifeld's theorem and this time I would like to show you a similar task, a similar problem, uh, which it can be solved using the same method but not using the Blifeld's Theorem of Blifeld's lemma, it doesn't matter how you call it, a theorem or a lemma. So, suppose we have a set of points, orange points over here, such that each two of them uh, are at least on a distance two or greater. Well, here it says that the distance between each two of these points must be greater than two units. And the figure. A figure that is not necessarily convex, not necessarily bounded, uh, not necessarily uh, polygon. The only condition on this figure is that its area must be less than pi. And uh, what we want to show is that there is a vector v of length less than one such that this figure can be shifted i mean a parallel shift by this vector in some direction but not too far from its original position so that it covers no orange points well in this position here we see that the figure covers two orange points but we want to shift it so that it covers zero orange points there is no lattice here so Blichfeld's theorem um, cannot be applied however however we can arrange something like a lattice of our own by using this property that every two points are at least uh, are far enough from each other build a circle with center at each of these points and radius one not well not a circle but many circles for each of these points we'll build a circle with radius one and center in this point and even those circles that uh, do not intersect the figure it doesn't matter and now we see that the built circles cut some pieces from the figure well this piece over here and this one over here and over here and over here and some pieces of the figure inside the circle can consist of several parts it doesn't matter and now just collect all these pieces of figure that got into the circles just collect them in one general circle of radius one say we can just draw another circle of radius one and collect uh, no this circle is on another plane uh, it is uh, not a, one of these circles it's a, it's another circle it's just a general circle for uh, all these circles and uh, using parallel shift just uh, move all these parts of the figure inside this general circle well for instance this part here will be somewhere like this and this part here will look something like this and of course parts can intersect for instance if we take this part and shift it here it's a parallel shift then it will intersect with this one mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, and the final part I will transfer this one to it contains the center inside but in any way when we do this we will have parts of this figure inside this general circle we know that the area of the figure is less than pi but area of this circle since its radius is equal to 1 is exactly pi so these parts of the figure cannot cover this circle totally and there are points inside this circle that are not covered by any parts of the figure take any such point for instance i don't know this one connect it by a segment with the center of the circle and this is the vector we were looking for now if we shift the figure by this vector then uh, its new position uh, will not contain any of the orange points now let's prove this i mean it may be not so obvious but the point is uh, which after after such shift by such a such a vector which points uh, go to the orange points well um, this point such that the vectors are the same or this point or this point or this point or this point getting what i mean right those points that go into the orange points after the shift were not inside the figure so the points that were inside the figure after the shift cover no orange points and this solves the problem but there is one more question uh, i would like to discuss um okay we know why we need the condition that the area of the figure is less than pi but where did we use that the distance between points is greater than two and you can if you like uh, pause the video and think about it but if you already know the answer then you needn't do this or you, if you don't want to think you also not uh obliged to stop the video but the answer is the following well uh we use this condition in order to have a non-intersecting parts of the figure well you see the part of the figure that inside this circle uh does not uh uh so to say intersect with the part of the figure inside this circle the circles are non-intersecting which uh, helps us uh, which gives us that the total area of parts of the figure here is less than the area less or equal than the area of the figure itself because if there were parts of the figure contained in several circles then here these parts would be multiplied there will be several such parts and it couldn't turn out that all these parts cover this circle because the sum of areas could be greater or equal than pi and it would be more difficult to find such a vector if it actually existed but since this condition holds then parts of the figure that do not intersect and uh, indeed there is such a vector well that's it